Hey everybody, Model Man here and on the bench for July 5th, 2014. I have got some major chaos going on. And actually it starts with the arrival of this guy here. A brand new paint booth fan. Nice. So back on June 1st, I said that I was immediately getting back into doing the Jupiter and what I wound up doing was working on the Chunky Chicken project for another full week. The second week of June I was totally bogged down with personal obligations. The third week I was getting ready for the El Cajon Car Classic and Red 2 and Lemons were down there to feature as one of the special cars on presentation actually. Uh, there's some video of that over at Gears McTinkersum. Links are posted here right now. And then this past week has again been working on the car too so there really hasn't been a lot going on here. However. With the arrival of the main component of the new paint booth, the fan, just yesterday I went over to a friend's and out of some scrap he had laying around, I built the base, which is this 30 by 48 inch dolly. I thought it was going to be a little weak in the middle, but it's actually exceptionally strong. So what that means is that all of a sudden July is going to be putting the new paint booth in. So where does it actually go in terms of all of this? Basic idea is that uh, those two tables there are getting pulled out. Some of the items are going to be stored in the paint booth so they won't be going far. However, coming out four feet from there, what's going to be next is the old paint booth. This is going to be my new vacuum cleaner sanding, resin, dust, cutting, all sorts of tiny particulate matter producing uh, things are done. I'm going to eventually hook up a vacuum cleaner to it, essentially just like the paint booth so that uh, it'll be a lot cleaner operation. So that goes over here. With that in mind, the bench and the stand here swing around over in front of the window. The electronics desk gets pushed into the corner a little better. That guy gets pushed over to that side a little better, and that opens up this entire, entire area here as one big central location. And as to this, what's probably going to happen is it's going to get rotated on its side, and then go down along the wall here or here. So, that is a lot of major work, and it's got to take place before I pretty much do anything else. And as it's the biennial cleanup anyway, I got to pull everything here out and get it all cleaned up as well, regardless. It'll be nice to have this window open again and get some natural light coming in, and working directly in front of the open window is going to be really, really nice, I think. And so, I'll have more videos of that posting soon enough, and uh. Yeah, a much better update probably in another week or so, mid-July, if not August 1st at the worst. And hopefully I'll get some more video in as well. I'm really backed up on a few reviews and other miscellaneous minor stuff too. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned, really. It's going great and there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming up for the second half of the year. Thanks for watching. See ya. And here are a few YouTube channels that might interest you. As always, the Scale Model Addict. Scott Gervan brings you his own work and the Scale Model Addict Forum and Scale Model Addict Magazine. Dr. Faust's The Painting Clinic. Check out Tony for miniatures and model painting. What time is it? It's Cranky Time. With his lab rat Ori assistant Igor, Dr. Cranky brings you the best in rats, rods, and rust. Steve Neal's Garage with Rosie the Wonder Dog, Mary, and Xena, featuring feature film props, restorations, and scale model artistry. Scott Alexander of Atomic City Models, specializing in 2001 A Space Odyssey model recreations and a few other notable genre pieces as well. Braddock 001, whether a one to one scale Borg sleep station, droids of any make or model, or even popular superhero armor or any kind of sculpture, look to Brad Carpenter to bring it. And for the trials, tribulations, and tales of my car Red 2 and its droid lemons, check in on Gears McTinkerson. Bad Grendel's for fine model work, timer chips, and electronics knowledge. The Model Man Tom channel would like to thank the following for their sponsorship. 
Elliot Brown of Kingston Vacuum Works, featuring Fedoratron.com and WarmPlastic.com. Lighting for extraordinary modelers, and vacuum forming tables for designers, modelers, and engineers. Kingston Vacuum Works covers it all. Paul at TheFiberOpticStore.com, now presenting the beta version of its new site, TheFiberOpticProjects.com for an exceptional selection and great prices of fiber optics of all sizes and quantities the fiberopticstore.com carpenter creations if you can dream it you can make it brad and carpenter science fiction artists from full scale board cubicles or droid displays of all kinds carpenter creations steve neal's garage Props and models for motion picture and discerning collectors, as well as prosthetic makeup and CG. Contact Steve through stevenealsgarage.com. Model reviews from Round 2 Models, AMT, MPC, Polar Lights, and Lindbergh. Scale Model Attic Magazine. Issue 3 now available. Issue number 4 is in the works. Orbital Defense Engineering Commission, a 2001 A Space Odyssey specific forum for scale model kits, reviews, news, and discussion. Orec.proboards.com More than just talk, hobbytalk.com, a forum for every hobby. And for the finest reference collection of feature film studio props and miniatures and models, Modelers Miniatures and Magic at modelermagic.com.